Today I'm going to show you how to add some emulators to MinUI such as N64, Nintendo DS, PSP, and Dreamcast. It's pretty easy, but for step one you'll want to make sure you take your SD card out of your device and back it up somewhere so you don't lose any of your files. The next step is to go to Ryan Sartor's GitHub page, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but you can see it's Ryan M. Sartor. And in the middle of the page you can see there's a MiU Flip custom MinUI packs, just click on that. And over on the right hand side you can see the latest release, click in there. The latest version of this from January 24th has a PSP standalone emulator, Nintendo DS, Dreamcast, N64, and some arcade options. So just download the zip file on the bottom. You'll need to extract this zip file, so I'm just going to extract everything here. And if you click in this folder that we just extracted, there's some stuff in these folders that we can add to MinUI on our SD card. On my left I have my MinUI SD card, and you can see that the folders we just downloaded are already on the card. So we're basically going to go into each one of these folders and bring it over here. The first one is user data, so go in here, and then my 355, and there's the file here. So we're going to do the same thing on the SD card and drag that file over. Then we'll go into our emus folder, my355 again, and here's our packs for our different emulators. And on the SD card I'll go to the same place, emus, then my355, and I'll drag these packs over. We're going to drag over some ROM files here, but as you'll see, if I go into N64, there are no game files here. We're just setting these ROM folders up. You'll have to add your own games. And it is important to note that if something's not working on one of your games for these systems, you may have to add BIOS files for it. You should be able to find your BIOS files on your stock OS card that came with your flip. So again, I'll go to my ROMs folder on my SD card, and I'll drag these systems over to here so I can add games to it. At this point, you'll want to go into a folder and then add whatever games you like. The last folder is Tools, so we'll go in there, My355, same thing on the SD card, My355. And we'll drag over to RetroArch Pack. Now that we have everything dragged over to where we need it to be, we can put the SD card back in the MU Flip. This is a version 1 flip, so I'm putting my SD card on this side, but it's worth noting that if you have a version 2, you should put your SD card on this side. Whichever side reads the card. You can see I have N64, Nintendo DS available, there's PSP, and Dreamcast. Your game should be pre-configured, but it'll be just like stock OS, where not every game from these consoles will work just fine. N64 was running in RetroArch, but you can see in an emulator like Nintendo DS, so I hit the menu button, I'm in a standalone emulator. So there's some different options that you can customize in the menus of that, such as switching the screen by hitting this back button here. But pretty standard stuff you can look through. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.